Hey, what's up? Um, Timothy here from the Raw Bras. About a week from today, I will be touching down in a plane, God willing, in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa. <laughs> this will be the second time I've gone to Africa. Uh, last year I went, I prayed about it, I prayed about it, I was terrified to go, um, and God clearly revealed to me, uh, <laughs> which is a whole other story, that I, He wanted me there. So, so I went there, and what initially sparked my interest was my girlfriend, Sharon, uh, was called to go to Africa as long as she can remember uh, being a Christian, as a Christian. And so uh, I initially wanted to go out there because she was there to visit her, and then I prayed about it, and God just, uh, he blew my heart away. <laughs> he blew me up, and he just sent me there. And uh, while we were there, we got to visit this orphanage uh, in Bettini, outside. It's about, it was about four hours outside of Kenya, or outside of Nairobi in the bush. And uh, during my time there, I saw some amazing things. I saw, I spent some time with these kids who essentially had nothing, had no material possessions, yet they seemed to have everything at the same time. They seemed to be filled with so much joy. All they wanted to do was sing and dance and play with trash. It was crazy. <laughs> and I'll tell you the one thing they didn't have though, and that was water. Water is a real challenge uh, for the kids living in this orphanage in Kenya. And that's what this video is about. I want to present to you an opportunity to give water, the, one of the sources of life to these kids. Me, my girlfriend, my sister, and a friend, we are going to be going there uh, next Tuesday, staying for about two and a half weeks. And our prayer is that we see this deep water well dug and put in at the orphanage. We have everything ready and set to go. All we need is the funds. It's a $15,000 mission. And uh, that is for a good well, a well that would hopefully last a lifetimes for these kids. And uh, that will provide clean, fresh water for them to not only drink, which they, I, you would be amazed at the little amount of water that these kids consume. And also that they, much less that they bathe in. They have hardly any water to bathe in. Um, so uh, this, if you've, it, and I'm not asking, I'm not, I'm not begging you to get involved. I'm just saying, if you're watching this video and you want to do something that's beyond yourself, and if you want to give to a really good cause, a cause that I, myself, with all my heart, believe in, and I give you my word that 100% of the proceeds are going directly to that well, and I'm going to go see it put in. I'm, I pray that I'm going to go see it put in myself. Um. I'm giving you an opportunity to do so, and you will be blessed by doing that, I guarantee you. That's one of the things I've learned throughout these last few years, doing all these retreats and crazy traveling, and doing what Timothy wants, is that that's not the trick of life, is that doing what you always want to do. You have to give beyond yourself. You have to do something for other people to be a part of a bigger picture. The orphanage is a Christian orphanage. Um, the kids are amazing. I have some footage I'm about to show you from, from the, my visit there last year. Um, and if you are interested in donating, supporting to this deep water well, I'm going to put the link to the GoFundMe account, my girlfriend's GoFundMe account, where you can not only donate, but you can learn more about the mission and learn more about her. Um, and I, I tell you that my girlfriend's amazing. I feel so blessed to have her in my life. She, her heart is devoted to God. Uh, she is seeking His will in her life, and that is just an amazing thing to be part of. Um, so, I'm gonna, if you're watching this video on YouTube, the link for the GoFundMe account will be in the link, uh, the description below. And if you're watching this video on Facebook, the link will be in the description above. So, the GoFundMe account again. And um, yeah, if you know someone else that might be interested in supporting this cause, you can share this video with them. Um, but again, we're leaving on Tuesday. And we'll be there for about two and a half weeks and we have about half the amount raised. We have just over $7,000 raised out of our goal, which is $15,000. We'll put that water, we'll put that well in the ground, get the water out and start nourishing and supplying these kids with clean and fresh water. And that will be amazing. We'll be updating, a we have our Facebook page um, that we will invite you to be part of where you can see updates and the progress of the well. Um, yeah. 
and I just want to open this opportunity up for you guys to be part of something amazing. Um, and now I'm going to leave you with a little footage that I took from last year's trip uh, with some of the kids and you'll get to see, uh, see some of what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, God bless you for watching this video, for being part of it. And if you can't donate, just please pray for me, my girlfriend, sister and friend, Aaron, who will be embarking upon this mission. Uh, your prayers are always needed and welcome. And here are the heroes of Bettini, Kenya. <laughs> My name is Pastor Justin Motinda. I'm a pastor of Makolongo Baptist Church and I love Jesus Christ. I want to say that God is there for us. God is loving, God is caring and peace be with you. Thank you. Okay, I went back to Kenya and I love you. She loves us. Wow, thank you.